with Frank. I'd like to open it up with uh, a question. Um, we'll take a few questions, but first I'd like to uh, ask you to talk a little bit about specific companies in terms of you're seeing, in terms of trends and growth, you know, such as General Electric. Now, we're hearing a lot about GE in terms of renewable energies, IBM. Uh, I think it might be important for the audience to get a sense of, from your perspective, you know, where uh, there's some growth and trends. Well, if, if we stuck with manufacturing activity, I don't know if you're interested in hearing about other parts of the state, but there are some pockets of economic development that are focusing on certain aspects of clean technology. For example, um, in, in the Kingston area, um, there's a solar energy consortium. They're promoting, it's actually a statewide organization, but what is happening is we've seen a handful of solar technology companies that um, are just beginning to start up hiring and producing solar related products and they collaborate there's a lot of collaboration because a lot of these companies are small um, um, companies that are just getting off the ground doing doing research and they're sharing a lot of the costs for for getting this uh, off the ground so solar and even they've, they've developed a wind consortium in the same Kingston area in the Syracuse area um, they have a creative core group that I participate in that is really focused around um, uh, environmental quality. Uh, and that's basically because of the Syracuse Center of Excellence. So they focus on indoor air quality there. They're seeing some development with that. Green building products. There's a push in the Hudson Valley to try to promote green building products manufacturing here in the Hudson Valley. Um, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a perfect perfect storm, so to speak, because the state policies are encouraging energy efficiency and renewable. The federal policies in the Obama administration are also encouraging <coughs> um, on, on that. The consumer is kind of demanding. They want energy efficiency. They want to reduce dependence on foreign oil. They want to preserve natural resources. And there's a lot of financial stimulus behind it that we think is going to create some economic development, some job need. I, I, I'm an example. I have a boiler in my house. I'm going through a kitchen remodeling process, project. You're still and I, I, it, it didn't start yet. I don't know if I'm going to be standing. I don't know how I'm going to live without a kitchen for a while. But at the same time, what's going through my head is my boiler in my house is at least 40 years old. I know it's going to go. It just keeps working. So I. I you know, I do mod modern, get modern improvements to it. Well, lo and behold, there's a federal tax credit now, this year and next year, for purchasing and installing certain energy efficient products, which includes high efficiency boilers, 90% or higher, it includes some windows, it includes doors, it includes insulation. So in the back of my mind, I'm saying the time will never be better. But on top of that, my utility provider, which is New York State Electric and Gas, is offering $1,000 rebate. So I'm going to get a $1,500 tax credit. This is that again. So, you know, so th there's a lot of these stimulus, cash for clunkers. Has anybody heard about that program? If that is, I think, on the president's desk. But you might be able to get up to $4,500 for a car that you trade in, that the new car that you're going to buy gets at least 10 miles more per gallon. Pretty good. On the president's desk. Speaking of the president, I was in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago, and I was at a boring conference. Things were packed into day and a half. I just had to get out. So one night, me and one of my associates that I was there with, we said, let's go out for At least we could run around the Washington Monument and see some of the sites. So we're running just out of gas almost. We're going way farther than running. We come up around the White House, a policeman tells us, so we're standing on a corner. All of a sudden, this limousine comes around the corner. President Obama sticks his head out and waves. We, for the next mile or two, we, I don't think we could feel our feet hit the ground. We were so excited. But the president is fully behind this. And I, I, I know he's probably taken some flack over it because the job, it's hard to say 
X how they're going to be created. Because, because from, from a statistical standpoint, a lot of this work is done by HVAC companies. Well, some HVA, they're all classified as an HVAC companies. The government, me, I can't determine which HVAC companies do solar installation and which do not. So that's why the system is not quite set up to do that. But we are making progress and we can identify careers and career paths that will lead you to those these types of jobs that are, are um, will affect the environment. So it's the, the manufact the construction jobs are everywhere. Construction jobs are local. They can't go, they can't be exported, they can't be outsourced, they have to be done local. The manufacturing jobs are, are spread. They're in certain pockets. There's a lot of research in engineering and analytical type jobs that go along with energy efficiency and building. They're pretty much everywhere, too. There's some really high-end ESCOs that many are located in New York that will go in and they'll, they'll retrofit a large institution. Like a lot of the buildings that we see here, they'll plan a retrofit for these buildings. It looks like most of these are probably pretty energy efficient, but there's many places where they're not. The actual payment for all that work comes in, the, in your energy savings on your utility bill. And they, the, the payment for the ESCO will come through that. So um, I, I kind of went off the path here, but there's, there, there's pockets. There's certain green jobs that are everywhere. The manufacturing jobs are spread. Depends on, they're not everywhere. So you wouldn't want to train for those. But most